weird lady, please be nice. Oh god, I can't take this and run over here. It must be over here. Yes, yeah, over here. Okay, great. Where are you coming from, huh? Where are you coming from? Hello guys, and welcome back to some more little nightmares. I am Little Yellow Raincoat, and <laughs> we will be heading away from this place now. Anything else around here? Anything, anything, anything else? No? This way? Nothing this way? I keep hearing one of them. Can I pull this? No, I can't pull this. Okay. Where's my little friends? My little mushroom people. Should be around here somewhere. Oh, here we go. What do you think you're doing, buddy? Don't bully that guy. Leave him be, okay? Is he still gonna try to take the thing from him? You really want to take it? Okay, I can't now. All right. Oh, well, maybe I can pull these open. I can climb them though. Don't don't know where I would go with them, but I could climb them. I like the bigger people more. They they seem less scary. Oh god. I say that and then we have a whole bunch of them just kind of pouring like there's no tomorrow here. Oh my goodness. Can you guys just get your food? Is that nicer for you? Oh my god, go away! <laughs> Leave me alone, will you? Oh my goodness gracious! There's so many of them. I think I accidentally released it. <laughs> so it died. Okay, well, I would love to do that again. That was kind of cool, actually. It's like one of those action movies where they're getting surrounded by zombies or something. Just keep running. Although you guys should really not be fast though. Don't break all the tables. You know, they're probably expensive. They're probably made specifically for you as well. Guys got some nice faces though. <laughs> I like them. Yeah, you can't get me now, can you, huh? Suckers. Who I like this head? I'm like Indiana Jones. Can I, can I have it? Oh no. Oh not again. This has some kind of underline with it about being poor, I think. At least it feels like it. Because you're constantly trying to find food. You're surrounded by people who eat, who have lots of meat and, and like food and are pretty fat. At least right now. Please give sausage. What? You're eating the mushroom? Don't 
little y yellow raincoat. You don't. You only have to eat the the sausage. It's getting more and more drastic, isn't it? What about all your little friends? It was even nice trying to offer a piece of sausage. Are we after that lady now? Is she the next target? We're gonna eat her next. <laughs> Um, well, it's kind of obvious that they're trying to light up this can here, so I guess I'll try to go for this one. Oh, actually, no, this one, I suppose. This one works too. Are we gonna meet our friend again? The 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 ones without its arm. Like the, does it does it have its arm bag or? Oh, no one is inside. Okay, I guess I could just casually walk over there then. Okay, well, that's not creepy. Oh, they broke the mirror because they didn't like how they looked. Yeah, I would too. <laughs> Okay, that's not creepy at all. Oh, there's an eyeball there. At least it doesn't move with anything. Oh, I thought this was some kind of thing, but it wasn't. Oh boy, they're singing something up there. Crazy lady, crazy uh, Tiff Fedora. I'm looking for that, aren't I? Jump down, jump down, what are you doing? He's not gonna do anything? That's different. I don't like it. Oh, I also don't like how the background music is incorporating her music now. Oh, she's straight up gone. She's probably blending in as one of these mannequin thingies, right? That's what I would do if I was her. Especially if I'm ugly and I already don't have a face. Oh no, what is this? You also somehow decided to sneak away. He's in the closet, I promise. I, he's just definitely in the closet. No?
Isn't it just creepy at this point? It's just super unsettling. Where is she? <laughs> Why didn't she look for me when something happened? Is that her? Was that there before? I think that was there before, but I'm not sure. Oh god, he's definitely behind the door. Oh god. Why do you sound like a Dementor or something crazy like that? You can use magic? I wonder I couldn't catch you. <laughs> How oh, that actually scare me? <laughs> like what do I? Oh, there's this. Okay. Well, this is the same place I think I've been to before. Keep running. Keep running, friend. Keep running, little yellow thingy. There's a hair thingy that I don't like. Oh, there's a multiple hair thingies that I don't like. The only question is, which one is her? Where do I go? Wait, what? Oh, I have to show her own image. Is that it? And for that, I need light. Wait, what? Yeah, so I need to show her her own image because for some reason that might be her weakness but then what do I do I do how do I uh, I mean I, I so she's some kind of ghost <laughs> kind of weird but all right only working image thing here there should be light over here right yep where are you, lady? Ow. Where's the next light? Where's the next light? Over here, huh? Where's it gonna come from? Weird lady, please be nice. Oh god, I can't take this and run over here. It must be over here. Yes, yeah, over here. Okay, great. Where are you coming from, huh? Where are you coming from? Think you can trigger me? Come on, where's the next one gonna be? Over here? Back here, back here, back here. Come on, 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 come Come 
on, come on, pick it up, pick it up. Did it did I get it? Am I am I dead? Oh no. Let's go to water. Shall I go to water? That's safe, right? I'm gonna eat her. Oh my goodness. I, I was choking when I said that. become destruction itself. Powerful now? I just casually walk in the middle. Can I kill him? Oh my goodness, I can just kill him. So, the character I am gains powers when they eat something that we're getting at. Becoming evil. <laughs> yeah, we can finally fight big. That felt so badass. Although I didn't really do anything but move forward. Storm is coming, the coat should come in useful. Okay, that was a weird little trophy I got. Sorry, mushroom people. I'm very sorry. I really didn't want to leave you all behind. Trying to help you all. This is mushroom people, I'm very sorry, okay? I'm sorry I ate one of you. Okay, so that's the game. Okay, well, I'll put a craft on screen right in now so you guys can, um, I guess. Uh, see if there's anything that really like what I thought about it I guess and uh, let me just tell you one thing this is certainly a piece of art like there are games like this out there that just kind of leave this impression on you um, one I can think of is another, another one that's very similar to this actually like n not in design or anything but like in, in the fact that it focuses a lot on the art is um, Brothers of Taylor Two Sons it also has gameplay that complements the art instead of like the game actually being about gameplay it's more about the art design and the, the the atmosphere, you know? 
but yeah, cool story. I think that's such a cool idea. Um, it did feel like someone just had a weird nightmare about this thing and they just kind of decided to make it into a game. And uh, that might actually be what happened. <laughs> um, yeah, that's kind of cool. So uh, the wall story, I don't really know what it's about, really. Um, it could be about the raincoat person just trying to survive. And to do so, uh, th they try to eat their way out of the situation and, and run away, um, try to escape the ship. Uh, or it could be about the fact that you're poor and then you work your way up the food chain until you become the one eating everyone. I mean, that could also be the case. I don't, I'm don't. i not quite sure if, if that is what the message is. Um, but but there is, the fact is that a re yellow re like raincoat person that we're playing as started out in a ship, somehow got there, uh, went out, tried to explore around, um, got help from the other kids, but decided to ignore the other kids, which means that our character is not especially like interested in working with other people. Uh, or at least helping out other people, so it's purely like a selfish person. Um, and the fact that they ate one of the mushroom people that they kind of hug and take care of kind of shows that it's fake love. So I do think we are playing as a bad person, but I don't think there is a good person. So I, I think it's kind of two opposites against each other. The poor that is kind of willing to do anything to survive, and the rich who has the means to survive, but doesn't use the right means in order to survive. Um, now that doesn't mean what this game is about, it could just be about a random nightmare, or it could have a deeper meaning that I'm not really exploring. Um, but in my experience, it, it, the fact that the, the character we play as is so tiny and, and fragile, um, has skinny, a skinny body and it's all about eating, I, I am kind of interested to see if it is really about the poor person trying to live in a rich person's world where they feel small uh, and, and neglected. And they kind of feel like they have to avoid the rich people in order to survive, you know, like and, and steal from them and eat whenever they can. Because the rich people, if they caught the person, they would only like take them away. Because the, the yellow uh, raincoat person, or raincoat person, just gonna call her that, I suppose, um, never got killed except when I jumped down from high heights, I guess. <laughs> but they never really got killed, and. That, that could mean that they never intended to harm raincoat person but there is a chance that they did indeed intend to harm the person but like not in the same way like put them with the other kids maybe or, or, or something like that where they are i don't know it, or maybe they're breeding kids or trying to turn kids into monsters that's also a thing like it, it was very very vague and i like that about it so it's very mysterious and gave us a couple hints as to what's going on. But it doesn't mean I understand the ending at all, because that ending, suddenly the raincoat person got power and could go through all the other people that have to avoid them this time, which is what they've been doing. They've been digging through the sewers pretty much to avoid all the bad guys, but now they're just walking straight up the middle and kind of just kills all of them because they gained that power from eating one of the stronger people. Like, it, it does feel like the kind of animal game, where you go back to being animals and the stronger survives. It is the strong who eat the weak. And I think that's kind of what this might be all about. That the strong eat the weak, and to get strong, you have to eat the strong. And so our person ate their way up the food chain until they were the one on top of it. And I think that the imagery in this game is kind of trying to add on to the whole idea. You know, that rich people who can eat at these fancy big ships, big yachts, or whatever you want to call it. Um, they, they get to be fat, they get to have a lot of food, and they, they also not very good at running after a person, apparently. Uh, at no point were they showing that they actually ate people. But it seems kind of insinuated that they did. Which is still a bit confusing to me, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> uh, but enough about the story, because it's very speculative. And I, I don't really have a definite answer to the story, but I liked what I was seeing. And I liked that I can come up with my own little theories as to what exactly happened. 
Not that any of them are right, mind you, but it, it feels kind of cool to be able to come up with different things and all of them could technically be right, depending on what they decide to take the story. Uh, and so next up we have gameplay. Now the gameplay is strictly platformer slash stealth game. Uh, it's not really... It doesn't have any deeper things. I mean, I like that you can pick stuff up and throw it. I like that you can fall over things, pretty much. And I like that you feel small and you kind of can fit into small places and you can slide. Um, that's very well put together. It's not the main thing about the game. It's not like a revolutionary. It's not even really like great gameplay. It just does what it needs to do to complement the, um, the fact that you have to escape this place. Like you cannot fight, you cannot do a lot of those things, but that's part of the charm. So some of the mechanics in the game are kind of complementing the entire narrative instead of just being about like you being able to do whatever you want. Which of course is fine. But it also takes the whole point away from the gameplay and more onto the actual narrative itself, which this game did pretty well. Um, bugs, I don't think I encountered a single bug. I, I think, I don't know if the camera movement can be considered a bug, but I will consider the bug. And there was also a point where I got kind of stuck when I was trying to like sneak. Um, so that happened and I, I couldn't really move properly. Until I got myself unstuck again right afterwards. I'm also gonna go dead like a collider bug of some kind where you kind of get stuck. More creepy music, great. That's what I want to hear. <laughs> um, the game is also fairly short. That needs to be said. It's pretty short. It is. I mean. It is sort of good that it's short, but it's also bad because they could have expanded on it a bit more if they really wanted to, I feel. Um, I will also say that um, the environment also well crafted. Like everything visually in the game was well crafted, but it did feel sort of on the cheap side, if you get what I mean. It, it feels like it was, it could be better and that it was developed like to the bare minimum of the art style, like it could be expanded upon is what I feel like. Now Raincoat is on an island. Is, is that where we exited? But we were in a ship a second ago. Thank you for making the game and I did not see production babies, maybe I missed it. Can I, can I walk? No, I, I don't think I can walk. So Raincoat is stuck on an island now, okay. Alright, that is pretty cool though. Uh, there's always a lighthouse, am I right? <laughs> I mean, that's not a lighthouse, I think. But it looks like it. I mean, it must be a lighthouse, actually. I wish I could reference, maybe. I don't know. Could be. Um, let's see, anything else I should probably talk about? I mean, money-wise, this game is probably worth 20, I would say. Probably 20. Um, it is a unique experience. It is pretty much a one-of-a-kind. So even though it's only like three, four hours long, it, it does carry itself above the other games on the market to be worth more than 10 to 15 euros slash dollars. So I will say it's worth 20 dollars. Uh, so if you find the $20 dollars, it's probably worth the experience. But it doesn't have a lot of replay value. It, it, is, it is just unique. Uh, and, and that's kind of why the price is what it is. Like if you don't focus on the uniqueness and you see uh, like the content itself as like a, a closed package where you don't look at what it could do narratively, like what it does revolutionary or what kind of experience it does like atmospherically, which is kind of weird because that's kind of this whole thing. Then you could say it's probably worth 10 or 15 euros, that's dollars. Uh, but I personally think this is worth 20 because of how great it's put together. I have not played Little Nightmares 2, but after playing this, I really, really want to. <laughs> I don't have the game, but I really kind of want to play it. Uh, and of course, thank you again for suggesting the game. It is, um, it was definitely worth the, the, the money and experience that I got for it. And uh, yeah, it's, it's great. I, I did enjoy it.
uh, of all the game is probably a 7 out of 10. Like, if, if I played it when it came out, in honesty, I'd probably give it an 8 or 9. I, probably an 8, because it is short. But it is still worth experiencing now, and it is it is definitely good. It is good. Like, two kind of bugs in that whole section. Uh, I don't consider the save points a bug, because I, I was put way back when I quit the game. Um, but ultimately, it, it was it was definitely worth it. Definitely an experience, I will say that. Um, it, it, is, it is unique. I don't know what else to say. It is just unique, and it's something that I do think everyone should really play at some point. Even if they're not really into horror games, this one has more of an atmospheric, unsettling feel. Like, like again, it's more about the art in the game than it is about the gameplay itself. So, um, do with that what you want. Uh, and while I think it is worth $20, again, like I said, if you're not really into the whole art aspect of the game and what it's trying to kind of deliver as like a narrative piece, like as a book maybe, that paints walls and pictures in your head, then probably worth 10 to $15 just for the, the experience alone. But I, I don't know. I mean, it seems kind of good to me anyway. But, uh, yeah, that's kind of all I have to say about it. I mean, there is probably more I can say about it, but because it's so narratively focused and because of how it is art oddly, like, it's a, it's a very artistic and it, it kind of portrays itself in a very cool way, an interesting way, that I just, I just feel like... Good job, developers. Very good job. Making a unique piece of art. These are the kind of games we need more of. Just unique games that are not just brain-dead first-person shooters and third-person shooters with action. I do enjoy those, don't get me wrong. But there's so many of those kind of games where they're always safe to make and they don't really try anything different. If there was a unique third-person shooter, a unique first-person shooter, I would clearly say the same thing about that one. Because this one is obviously just at its core, it's a platformer. Plain and simple. Just a typical platformer you can move things around. But they expanded it into something super narratively driven, something super creepy and atmospheric. That is just, it's different than all the other platformers. And if you took every single genre and expanded on it like this game did, you could tell truly unique stories, show truly unique things. And it doesn't even have to perform super badly. I mean, I guess you should say this. It doesn't have to look awesome and great. Like I said, you, you could see a little bit here now and again that they tried to... That they didn't make the environments like high poly and high things. You could argue that is the art style they're going for. But of course, you can also argue, like I am, that they just kind of try to focus on the, the like making it more performance friendly. Like so, so they didn't have to deal with it later. Maybe um, I could be wrong about that. Like I'm not, I'm not an expert at that. I know a little about game development. Well, I've studied game development anyway, and I, I kind of understand how it works. Um, so either one, they, they picked the, the, the lower poly style. And when I say low poly, I don't mean like low, low poly. I mean like the, the fact that you can see that they're not high poly models. Um, or two, they just kind of decided on that because they didn't want the performance to be crap. And they didn't want the chance for the performance to be crap. They just kind of said, oh, we're just going to do middle poly, like poly stuff. It's not, it's not a big deal. And uh, to the game's credit, I mean, while it was that, they used a lot of effects to kind of hide some of the lower poly stuff, and they actually used it pretty well too. Usually depth of field and stuff gets annoying for me, but not in this game. Didn't get too annoying. Only that one time when I wanted to see people go aboard the ship and it didn't end up that well. But, you know, that's, that's okay. <laughs> it happens now and again. So, um, yeah, um, great game. Uh, good job developers, and uh, I look forward to playing Little Nightmares 2 as well. I love these really unique games. I have to play Inside 2 at some point and, and some other stuff. Like, that's similar to this kind of atmosphere, I guess. It would be super awesome. But, uh, yeah, let's see what happens when I click thank you for playing or bake, anyway. Alright, little yellow raincoat <laughs> person now there is apparently dlc for the game but i don't i don't have that so i don't know how to um play that properly so these are the actual chapters for the the game itself 
like I said, the other lot. So, yeah. yeah, not a lot, but I did enjoy it a lot too, though. But you could hide behind the. Okay. <laughs> I think my favorite one is probably this one. Just because of how non-hostile it was and how funny it was to kind of see them chase me. The least favorite one to me was probably um, the cooks. Then this one. Uh, then we had the, um, the weird lady in the end. And then the most fun one was probably the beginning. And, and the reason why the beginning was the most fun one is because it was more speculative. It was like... You didn't actually have anyone chase you, except these weird freaking leeches. I, I, I'm happy they got, they, they just got, got gone, like, later on. I'm happy they weren't there anymore. Um, but the beginning was more speculative. You didn't really know what was going on, so the impression it left on me was a bit stronger than the other ones. Not that the other ones were bad or anything, but it's just that it just, it just left an impression on me. Um, but yeah, of course we have these two, in case... Anyone wants to see these? I, I don't know if I'm going to get them. But let me know if you guys are interested in seeing these DLCs. Then I can buy them for you. Uh, and play them. Just to see if how, how they work or what they're about, I guess. And, um, yeah. I enjoyed it. Good job. Alright, that is also going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, consider liking, subscribing and sharing. And checking out my other Let's Plays, of course. Um, leave a comment uh, saying what games you'd like me to play next. And, uh, well, if you want to, of course, I'm not going to force you to. But yeah, you can leave a comment uh, saying what game you'd like to see next. And, um, hope to see another one of my Let's Plays. And as always, stay awesome.